Hey guys, Wyatt here. Uh, thank you very much for checking out the video. Um, it's mainly going to just be me bambling on for about six or so minutes. Um, compiling all the information that we know up until this point. Um, it's mainly going to be focusing on the console players because they're going to have a lot more questions than the PC players because um, PC players have had the pleasure of playing this game where console haven't. Um, and in the background there's going to be a couple of trailers playing and things like that. They'll just be repeating just to give you something to look at. Uh, there will be more trailers and things coming at a later date. Uh, there's going to be uh, vehicle showcases and things as well coming at a later date. And this is all coming from the devs. Uh, so all the information that you know I'll be reeling off now will be coming from the devs and reliable forum posts and things like that. It's not just made up. And hopefully I'll be answering uh, you know a few of your questions and stuff like that. So... So anyway, what do we know so far? Well, the game is going to be locked at 1080p 30 frames per second on console and 1080p 60 frames per second on PC. Um, there's going to be six maps. Five of those are from the original and six of the, uh, one of those is brand new. Uh, the names of those maps are, if I can find my notes, uh, The Bog, Island, uh, seashore, downhill, crossing, and deluge or deluge. Or I don't know how you pronounce that. I've probably killed it. There's going to be uh, 13 new vehicles. Six of those are from the um, no, 13 new vehicles, 19 in total. Six of those vehicles are from the original spin tires. Um, I would reel out the names, but for most of you, they probably don't mean anything. Um, but like I said, the devs are going to be releasing like pictures and things. You'll see one of them um, come up on the screen in a moment from the, the first showcase that they released. But they will be releasing showcases of different vehicles and the strengths and weaknesses and things like that. So that will give you a good opportunity to check out all the vehicles. So keep your eyes peeled for those. Today's date is the 20th of September. And as of yesterday, you can now pre-order the game from Xbox Store. Um, obviously the game is available to to, to pre-order phys a, a physical copy or something like that if that's what you prefer but there isn't too much difference in a price normally the physical copies are a lot cheaper but um, you know if there isn't really any much difference in a price then normally 100% I would go with the digital copy uh, obviously Steam players um, the game's been available to uh, pre-order for quite some time now um, if you own the original copy of Spin Tires, then you can get like a 50% discount on that. So go check that out. Uh, console players, I'm not sure about PlayStation, but with Xbox, there is a 10% discount at the moment. Um, so you can get the game a few pounds cheaper. Um, I'm thinking it's about, I think it's about $40. And if you're in the UK, it is currently £31.99. Um, so obviously I don't know about any other currencies and with the uh, the, the, the US dollars that was a, a rough conversion. Um, steering wheel support. PC will get steering wheel support from right off the, you know, from release console. We'll have to wait a little while. Um, it is going to be coming. They said it's going to be a, a post release patch or something like that. But console will be getting steering wheel uh, support. Camera angles, I know this was something that uh, the community moaned about a lot on the PC with the original game. Uh, so camera angles have really been worked at, so th this is good. Uh, first person view, or in cab view as they keep calling it, uh, is going to be in this game. So you'll see the steering wheel. At the moment you'll see your arms as well moving the steering wheel. Um, again, this is something that the community have kind of not liked so much so there is a bit of a, a a request to remove the arms they just want to see the steering wheel moving from left and right so i'm not sure if they're going to be able to sort that out before release um what else uh, all of the the dials and gauges on the dashboard of the vehicles are all fully working as well so that will really help with you know immersing you in in that environment and in the game as well so that's good um um i'm trying to read through my notes at the same time uh, let's have a quick yeah improved physics um so yeah they've wanted to uh they want better behaved and increased interaction 
with the environment that's their words so obviously that includes mud water vegetation you know for, for greater realism um so that's good you know you know obviously it's got to be quite convincing you know if you're driving uh, it's the game is based in russia uh where is it now um i can't remember whereabouts but it's kind of it's a russian themed game they're russian vehicles um, so that's what the sort of thing you can expect to see. Obviously, multiplayer has been confirmed already. I think it was a mod on PC for the original one, but this one is obviously going to be, you know, built into the game. So four-player multiplayer co-op um, and multiplayer saves are going to be available as well. So obviously, you can save your progression. Um, towing, you'll have front and rear winches. Uh, but I don't think you're going to be able to use front and back at the same time. So uh, tow trains are going to be a thing. Uh, I think they show a clip of that um, in one of the trailers. So on one of their trailers so far. Um, but you're not going to be able to kind of winch up the front vehicle to a tree and then use that to pull out all of the all of the vehicles from behind. <coughs> Excuse me. So. You know, the front vehicle, the lead vehicle is going to need to be, uh, you know, the real powerhouse to be able to pull, pull everyone out of the mud or wherever they're, they're stuck. Um, so what else have we got? So I'm trying to think, have I have I um, mentioned everything? There's going to be dynamic day and night cycles, so expect to be driving at night. I'm not sure about weather. Mod support as well, uh, but for Pete, well... Not as well, but there's going to be mod support for PC only. Console is still kind of like an open book at the minute, but it's not going to be um, at release. So it's something that we we might, and I mean might, get at a later date. Uh, obviously, it's a graphical... The game's had a graphical overhaul from the ground up. Um, obviously, they're saying that this is a separate game, um, so it's not spin tires too but i find that hard to kind of take in because you know they've got six you know they've got five of the original maps they've got six of the original vehicles um and they're saying that it's not the same game it's you know a brand new game but well i'll leave that up to the uh the pc players to to decide because they're the ones that played the original spin tires there's going to be challenge mode implemented as well uh but apparently this is going to be where you can um, play like tougher, tougher environments and things like that. There's going to be nine dedicated maps for this, so I, I'm assuming there's going to be you know six maps plus nine maps, but those nine maps are going to be locked to challenge mode. Um, what else have we got? I've mentioned new vehicles. I think I've mentioned steering wheel. I've mentioned multiplayer mods. Physics and graphics, they've all been um, reworked and stuff like that. But I think that's about it, guys, for now. But there is going to be... Um, the devs are going to be bringing out, um, like I say, showcases between now and then. I think they're, gonna, they're planning on making another trailer as well, really showing off the in-cab view and all the new camera angles and things like that. So, yeah, you know, if, are, if I can compile enough information together, I will make another one of these videos. If you've got any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Um, I've never really done a video like this, uh, but I know there's a lot of unanswered questions to the console players with you know games like this. A lot of console players have been screaming out for you know simulator games, especially ones that are really really popular on the PC. And uh, I think you know to a lot of people that that call is being answered. I'm super super excited for this game. There's a there's one or two simulators. Uh, coming out this year as well and i'm super super excited for those as well uh, anyway guys if this video was helpful in any way shape or form thumbs up that'd be greatly appreciated and uh, if you haven't done so already and you want to stay up to date with the channel and the ongoings please feel free to subscribe until next time take care of yourselves and bye for now